Throwing a party can be overwhelming, especially when you're not prepared. That's why we decided to make this video. We're going to show you how to build a form for your attendees. That way we can know how many people are going to attend, what type of meal or other preference, are they going to bring a guest, and if this is a kid's party, what are their parents' information, and a whole lot of things that we can cover on our form. That way we can be more prepared for our party. So let's get started with this tutorial right now. Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and like I mentioned before, I'm going to show you how to build that form for your party attendees. That way, we can have a whole lot of information. But aside from just having a form for attendees, we're going to have all that information in a database so we can later look at it and make sure what we need or don't need from the information that we're going to capture. Now, let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. Let's go ahead and go into create a form. And we have three options. We can start from scratch, use a template, or import a form if we previously built one in another platform. In this case, we'll start from scratch and I'll use the classic form. And this is going to open up the builder. Now, let's give it a name. In this case, let's get started with a simple wedding invitation. So this, this is gonna be our, there we go. This is the wedding invitation. And let's go ahead and drag in the first elements that we're going to need from our attendees, okay? So it's going to add form elements. Let's scroll down here. And we're gonna use the single choice, another single choice, one, oh, sorry. We're gonna use three single choice. There we go. And at the beginning, we want the name. And at the end, we are going to want their phone, the email and the phone number, okay? So let's get started by tweaking these questions. So the first thing that we want to know from our attendees is, are they going to come? So let's ask that first question. Okay, will you be attending? We'll say, first option is yes, no, and may. Well, the second one will be maybe, and the third one will be no, sorry. Okay, and the next question is going to be, are they going to bring a guest? So, okay, and this is gonna be a yes or no option. We're going to later add some conditional logic if in case they answer yes, we'll add a little field so they can add the name to it, okay? And the next question is gonna be, for example, what meal do they prefer? For example, in the, in the cases of weddings, um, some people are vegetarian and some are non-vegetarian. That way you want to be prepared to have the amount of meals necessary for vegetarians and non-vegetarians. So we're gonna ask, do you prefer, okay? And we're gonna say vegetarian. There we go, let's get rid of these extras. Here we go, and we're gonna ask for the phone number and the email. So as of now, we're gonna be able to know who the attendee's name is going to be, are they going to attend, are they bringing guests, and what type of meal do they prefer, plus their details of the phone number and email, just in case you need to update them with some information. Now, you can go ahead and ask more questions if you like, this is just a basic form for a wedding attendee invitation, okay? Now, this is not it. I mean, this is not the whole thing. This is just the form, but all the information that we're going to capture is what's really important so we can be prepared for our party. So let me go ahead and fill this form out two times. We're gonna go ahead and go into publish, and this is the link that you're going to share, and that way you know who is going to receive that uh, form. Let's go ahead and open in a new tab, and let's fill this out really quickly. Okay, I've submitted it once. Let's go ahead and submit it again. Let me go back. In this case, I'll just change the name really quickly. No, and this is vegetarian. We'll change up the phone number and we'll add another email. Let's go ahead and submit it. There we go. I've submitted this twice. Let's go and find out this database, okay? So let's go into back to our dashboard. Let's find the form that we've just built. It's this one right here. We'll go to more and we'll go into submissions. Here we go. And this is where we're going to find all the submissions that we received. We're gonna be able to view these in a really nice form manner. So if you wanna view this by rows, that is possible. If you wanna look at it with another view, that is possible also. If we add a tab to this, we can add, for example, this one is a really good one, cards, okay? Let's go next. We're gonna connect to form. Next, and we're gonna connect it to our form right now from the wedding invitation. 
and we're gonna be able to view just the information that we need. So we can drag and drop the elements that are important to us. Will they attend their data? Email, Let's go ahead and view this and that, okay? So in this case, we have a card view. We're not gonna be able to know, we're not interested in the submission date or the last update. We don't need the submission IP or the submission ID. We want something clean, okay? So there we go, in this type of view, card view, we're able to view all the people who filled out the wedding form and we're gonna be able to view it at a quick glance. Now, if you need a report for this, in case you need to have the numbers, we can go into reports, go to next, Again, select the wedding invitation. We'll have a compact report and just add the information that you actually need. For example, we'll be attending, we'll have a, a, a pie chart here. In case we wanna change it, we can do so to a different type of donut chart, bar chart, just to know how many people are coming. So in this case, there's two that confirmed yes and zero maybe and zero no, sorry, okay? So in this case, we're gonna be able to view also what meal do they prefer? Actually, I misspelled that but you can see one vegetarian and one non-vegetarian. And we can send this information out to a wedding planner so they can have that information available. That way they know how many meals they should have and how many are vegetarian and non-vegetarian. So it's really useful that we have this view. Now, another type of form that we can build for a party would be a kid's party, okay? In a kid's party, and in most cases, we'll use a card form for this, um, the parents don't stay, I mean, just the kids. So we might want to know, um, the child's information, their parents' information, just in case something goes wrong, and we need that information available, okay? So we can go ahead and add elements here, like for example, the full name for the person. And again, we're gonna be asking, are they going to attend? Are you attending? And we'll say yes, maybe, and no, we'll get rid of that one. And another question would be the information for the parents. So for example, let's go ahead and ask a name again and their data. We're going to ask for the phone number and the email. And for this case, we'll need the address. Okay, let me find that really quickly. Here it is. Let's drag it there. Okay, so we're gonna be asking parent and charge name okay so we'll have the name for that the phone number parent phone number address that'll be obviously the the child's address and the email so what we've done right here is we've created an invitation where we're going to know the child's name are they going to attend their parent in charge name like who's going to take care of them in case something goes wrong the parent's phone number, the address of the child, and the email. And you can, again, ask more questions if you need to tweak this a little bit more. But all this information is super useful to be prepared in case anything happens. I mean, you need to know how many attendees are coming, what are the names, are they going to bring a, a friend, what age, for example, we could ask for this type of party invitation, the address of the parents, and the email and phone number. So all this information is really useful for parties. But again, you can build your own party invitation with all the fields that you might need for the questions that you might need to ask for your party. But there you go. That is how you're going to build the form for your party attendees. We thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.